Welcome back, everybody, to our finale of our Redux of Francisco de Almeida. So, we did uh, Estado de India last time, and that was uh, pretty fun. Got to have some Dravidians action, but now we will be going uh, further up towards the lands of the Gujars in a son's blood. We taken the other side of the world by storm, but our old enemy. As the Zamorin beat his war drums, Ottomans and Egyptians rallied to him. Their ships were carried over the desert and rebuilt by treacherous Venetians. In India, an unlikely Russian renegade called Malik Ayaz raised the Muslim armies of Gujarat in defense of the Hindu Zamorin. Gold had truly become more powerful than God. As this coalition of Hindus, Muslims, and Christians descended on us, liars and jackals Frickin flocked jackals, to man. the court of King Manuel. They filled his ears with lies that Don Francisco had betrayed Portugal and convinced the young king to dispatch an armada led by Alfonso de Albuquerque to relieve my captain of the viceroy ship. Dom Francisco, however, was in no mood for politics. Tragedy struck off the coast of Chaur. In a heroic naval battle, my captain's beloved son Lorenzo was slain by Amir Hussein, admiral of the Mamluk fleet of Egypt. Though he deeply loved his son, Dom Francisco did not shed tears for his death. In repayment, my captain vowed to shed blood. Happens. Convert 10 of Albuquerque's men. Uh, build up our forces. We are restricted to a pop limit of 200, and you cannot advance to imp until we convert to Albuquerque. Gotta convert the people. Um, destroy the Mamluk Fetorias, and the Kathiawar Peninsula has rich gold deposits. We are in the northwest of India, and we gotta go avenge our son. Albuquerque is the guy we gotta convert. Diu is to the west. Uh, there is the Ottomans that are kind of, like, right over here, and the Mamluks that are to the north. And then there are some Gujarati traders. By order of His Majesty, you are to oh, you have a time limit now. Estou pronto. Um, so Diu used to be Persians, and now they're Gujars. Um, and Gujarati traders used to be Indians, now they're Gujars, and enemy leaders also used to be Persians, and now they are Gujars. That was weird. Get Boosol. Alrighty. So yeah, this is kind of a classic Philadelphia thing here, where we have to convert um, these soldiers without killing them. Uh, you want to get that, man? Alrighty. Uh, just put everyone on no attack stance. Makes your life a lot easier. Alrighty. Now, we're, we are only in Castle Age, so no block printing or theocracy or anything like that. 
In Portuguese, don't get illumination anyway. It was just a, a little bit of a joke right there. Alrighty. Getting some uh, good old Monk Tezuma and Holiest Roman Empire flashbacks. Or Holiest Roman Emperor. Did those a, a while ago. Monk and Rams and Trebs only of those campaigns. Uh, Barbarossa and uh, Montez Montezuma, naturally. Alrighty. Where are you at? Oh, what are, what are those guys doing over there? Okay. Heal! So, um, Albuquerque's over here. He is convertible. Not like, you know, the car a convertible, but you know what I mean. What you can do... Is you can actually convert him from over here. Okay, well, this isn't going as planned. Well, this isn't going as planned. Um. Well, sometimes Monk RNG isn't your friend. Um. Awkward. Awkward. Why so much bother? Yeah, just bump this up a little bit. You know, sometimes you uh, make mistakes in life. You just gotta own it. All right. Wait, what? Oh, wow. Okay, this is a big change. Um, you used to, like, the wonder was started and completed, like, instantly, and it was like, go, 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 go time. But now we actually have time to build up. Interesting. Estou pronto. Yeah, okay. This is not what I expected. Oh, but... Wait, what? Hold up. Why didn't we get those transport ships? Or do we not get them yet? Okay. Um, clearly I need to figure something out. Hmm. And, uh, you can build a wonder or defeat your enemies in this scenario, kind of like the last one. But I'm going to go defeat the enemies because that should be more fun for you guys to watch. Well, as much as any of my videos are fun for you guys to watch. But, uh, apparently they are for at least 12,000 people. Mm. 
so yeah, this is actually a pretty big difference in making the scenario a lot easier. Because now you can just start to boom up. Yeah, they're still neutral to us, so I don't know why, like, this is a thing. Like, the Turks are still hanging around over here. We've got 11 minutes before the true sends. I mean, like, sure, I'll just, I'll take the opportunity to get my economy rolling, but... Again, last time, you got all these troops right away, but you were instantly having to fight. And, like, you had to really try and keep your cannon galleons alive, because those were important in taking down Diu. Or the Wonder and Diu. But I imagine they'll be making some different stuff, because last time they just made, like, a bunch of paladins and monks. Well, I mean, they can still make the, uh, the imams. The imams. And, uh, war elephants. I hope we get those extra units, because the Turks are pretty scary. Despite what the scores say, in general the Turks are your strongest enemy, then the Mamluks, then the, uh, then the Diu. And we'll use the Portuguese Navy one last time in this scenario, since we did, like, almost entirely land stuff in the uh, previous mission. BF style, just build your walls right next to your opponent's walls. Uh, you already have war galley researched and chemistry, just like in the regular previous scenario thingy. Fishing ships. Uh, I think we have university. Yes, we do. But our eco is looking halfway decent. We still have another six minutes to build up. This just feels so gratuitous. We'll have time to get a castle up. And just big chillin' here at the start. Like, normally this scenario is super hectic once you get the initial, uh, conversion minigame done. Uh, that's a pretty good plot. Good, pretty good plot for a vassal. Or spot for a castle, you know what I mean. Talking is hard. Good thing it's not very relevant for my job. 
Construir. Quais? As Estou pronto. Cortar ordem. madeira. Coletar. Yeah, just big chilling with our eco right here. Not under any... Wait, what? What is this DE pathfinding? Yeah, now we're going to get like this huge freaking navy. Or maybe DU is going to be stronger though. Like maybe they'll have like fast fire ships. Okay, got you. Yeah, we'll go ahead and grab Karak. I should do some testing to see how good Karak is. It's like one of those upgrades that, you know, if you're playing Portuguese on water maps, you just, you know, you, you want to pick it up eventually. Just because it's like, oh yeah, 1-1 one, one armor. I mean, that's, that's not bad. You know, you'll take that. But I'm curious as to exactly how useful it is. Like, I'm sure it's not bad, but... You know, it's like, to what degree? Like, for example, careening is really important uh, when you're going for fire ships against uh, war galleys. Because especially, like, if you're playing... Um, here's a multiplayer tip. If you're playing it like, Italians and you get those cheaper dock techs and you're, say, against Vikings who are going for galleys, getting careening super early in Castle Age, uh, if you're up faster, means that galleys will only deal one damage to your fire ships as opposed to two, which is obviously a pretty big deal. Well, treaty's about to run out. Whoa! Oh, all those uh, walls get deleted. Okay, there's the wonder. Oh, yeah, it's the uh, Gujur wonder, naturally. As opposed to the... Uh, Arch of uh, Tessaphon. Oh, they those are just regular monks. Why aren't those imams? Actually, was this Hindu or Muslim? I don't remember. Oh. Um... Do I have a market? I do have a market. Oh no, not a caravel. The wonder looks kind of small. I guess it's because the, the foundation is big, but there's the whole gardens area. Oh, well, that's not great. Don't really need you. Okay, so we still get this whole area. Let's get some repairs going. Okay, I do have a bombard cannon here. Okay, so, oh yeah, they made camels too. Uh, so they got just some Gujar stuff. Got some armored elephants. Got some camels. You know, the huge. Mamluks still have some condos. Wait, what? Where'd my navy go? Oh, dum dums. I'm not going to lose that Bombard Tower. Also, Gujars don't have Bombard Tower. Cheaters! Honestly, I have way too many on food. 
Construir. Olá, quais as vossas ordens? Mirará. Construir. Quais são as vossas ordens? Quais são as vossas ordens? Alrighty, let's go get Galleon, Bracer, we already have Chemistry. Um, I guess we'll get Dry Dock. Uh, I forget the Gujur Navy. I know it's like kind of meh. Like they have the weakest Navy of a Civ that has a naval bonus because of their uh, docks. Or garrisoning, garrisoning fishing ships. Okay, they don't have dry dock, elite cannon galleon, or fast fire ship, but they do have shipwright. So, I mean, it's not like an awful navy. You've got galleons with bracer and uh, shipwright and at least the regular cannon galleon. And those are the most important things to have, but fast fire ship is... Fast fire ship's a nice one. So we've got a heated shot. Let's build a Victoria. Oh, Elite Cannon Galleon would be nice. Yeah, let's get all the upgrades. Yeah, we're playing campaigns, you know. Go wild, have a good time. Feels bad, man. Feels cruel, ruler. Oh, I saw what you're doing. Uh, okay, I, I see that siege elephant. Sorry. No, not freaking caravels. Oh, they got some elite elephant archers, some chakram throwers. Malik Ayaz over here, who is um, a Nevsky reskin. I thought he used to be a boyar. Maybe they changed that. Anyway, uh, you can't go full water simply because they make... Uh, they're, the water only gets you so far in this map. Like, their stuff is inland a little bit. For all of your enemies. So, onward and upward we go. Those could be a bit of an issue for our, our organ guns. But it's fine, it's fine.
There is the Turkish Pasha. Um... Oops. The what is that? The Masjid, the Masjid of Surat. Oh yeah, I wonder if you get a bonus now for destroying the enemy leaders. Okay, they got some stuff over here. There's some Shrevent Riders. Lots of Bombard Cannons. Onward and upward. Ready. Do they have another castle? I don't remember. Yes, they do. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold your horses. Ooh, sea janitors. Gotta be careful of those. If the Turkish serpent wishes for more of his pashas to die, he will send them to me. Francisco, you don't even appear in any of these scenarios, man. Like how many campaigns have their hero unit never appear? Uh, yeah. Or how many campaigns have their protagonist never appear as a unit? Um... Let's see. Saladin Barbarossa. Or Barbarossa is the emperor in a barrel. It counts. Um, but yeah, Saladin doesn't. Francisco de Almeida doesn't. Uh, Montezuma or Quatamoc don't. Does Alaric ever appear? Well, Atolf appears. That kind of counts. Hmm. Dracula appears. The Nauticos family appears. Sforza does. Prithvi Raj does. Tariq does, Yodit. Uh, Sunjata. All of the Rise of the Rajas heroes do. Hibilo, Tamerlane, Kotian all do. Longshanks. Um, the Grand Dukes and the Otvies all do. And then I'm pretty sure everybody... In the newer DLCs does as well. 
So yeah, it's just the, the those very few that don't appear. Uh, the Ottomans are still in the game. Those jerk faces. Oh, are they deleting stuff? Yeah, it looks like it. There we go. Let's keep on going. Bombard tower time, baby. Time for our uh, purely Fatoria economy. Oh, they do have a town center. I thought they only had Fatorias. Well, at least we get to use the full might of the Portuguese lake game. In both land and sea. Mamelukes aren't even fully upgraded. Okay, this, this does feel a little easy. Like, we're almost 50 minutes into this scenario. And they don't even have full upgrades. You have some tribes here. Tribes don't even have siege engineers. Oh, they have a relic. Oh, that's right. You do get some camels. Uh, here are some Gujar camels. I forgot about these guy units. Oh, they removed the lighthouse of Diu. Wonder why. A few more galleons. Well, they have more stuff than I remember, but that could just be me misremembering. I guess we have to blow up the gate. Okay. Yeah, I, I think this is redesigned. Ah. Oh, there's Amir Hussein Al Kurdi. Uh, he used to be a Mameluke hero, I thought. You know, since he's the Mameluke leader dude. He has the Saladin uh, icon. 
My dear son, the heathen who took you from me is dead. Oh, these guys are new. Oh, you guys are new. Um, I think Dio didn't really have an economy before. At least I don't really remember them having one, so I think that's new. Oh, more units. And a relic, even. Yeah, I don't know why this was made so much easier. It's not like the scenario was impossible or anything. I mean, it was the last scenario in the in a two sword difficulty campaign so it should be a decent challenge but you just get so much time to build up and this used to all be desert if i recall correctly now it's uh jungly stuff Anyway, let's go, uh, before we actually defeat the, uh, Dew, the Dew, not just any Dew, the Dew, let's go check out and see what their, uh, if you get anything for destroying the, the baddies. Oh, wait, you can achieve a relic victory? From two relics? <laughs> okay, that feels like a mistake. <laughs> like, literally, there's just two relics. Renegado. Uh, it doesn't seem like you get anything. <laughs> Just the two relic, relic victory. Well, we should be wrapping things up here. Okay, looks like they're deleting stuff. Get wrecked. I mean, I still like this scenario, it's just, I don't know. It feels so unnecessarily easy. Just getting all of that time to build up. It kind of reminds me of Elgiras and Kashyyyk's 4. Uh, the Moscow one, where you just get all the time in the world to build up. It is time for me to return home. Alrighty, let's bump up the volume. With his son's death avenged, Dom Francisco surrendered the viceroyship of India and wrote his final chapter. He would not return to his beloved Portugal. Landing in southern Africa to collect water, his party was ambushed by the Khoikhoi natives. We found his body that forsaken white beach. In the five years since we departed Lisbon, we followed Don Francisco to the edge of the earth, 
We fought ebony-skinned warriors in the jungles and savannas of Africa. Battled Mamluk sailors on the decks of galleys heaving in the monsoon waves. And struggled against armies of elephants and camels in the sprawling cities of India. Our caravels had taken us to the distant shores unknown to our ancestors, and awoken Europe to a world beyond our dreams. Oh man. So yeah, guys, definitely let me know what you thought of the changes to Almeida. I'd say that overall they were for the better. I wouldn't change the uh, campaign's placement. I'd still say it's a B-tier campaign. Pretty decent KD. Don't think I missed anything on the map. You can trade over here or over here. Not that you really need to. Yeah, I think the, the map design was changed a little bit. And of course, do you now with uh, Gujars just trains a bunch of Gujar sorts of units. But other than that, it is indeed pretty similar. Anyway, guys, that was the uh, Francisco de Almeida 2.0 with Dynasties of India. Hope you enjoyed. And next, I uh, will be doing Bayanong 2.0 with Dynasties of India. See you guys next time for that one.